Hi everyone, it's Jessica here and welcome back to another card tutorial. Since the holidays is just right around the corner, I thought I would create a really cool customized money envelope. And today we're actually going to upcycle some chocolate packaging. So let's get started. So this is the inspiration for today's project. I recently received several chocolates from Iceland and they all have really cute packaging. This one in particular has a rainbow unicorn theme and I thought it's just too cute to throw away. It is the perfect size to change into a money holder too, so I thought I would just trim it down a little bit and repurpose it. Now before you trim it, you just want to make sure that it actually is roughly the size of the paper bill that you will be using. Here I'm using this $10 bill as a reference and you can see how perfectly the size is. If you are using a different kind of bill, you can just trim it off a little bit um, on whichever side you need. For my project today, I trim it down to 6 and 3 eighths for the long side and 2 and 3 fourths inches for the short side. Then we can move on to make the actual white envelope. Now this part is really creative. You can really make it whatever size you want it to be. The only tip I have is that you want to make sure even with the adhesive um, on the edges, you'll still have space to put in your bills or tickets or whatever you want to put into this holder. For the long edge of the envelope that I'm making today, I figured that 7 inches is the minimum size I can go with. And that's considering that I will be using double-sided tape at the ends to kind of adhere the envelope together. And then for the other edge of the envelope, which will be the front and the back, you also want to make sure that you leave around one or two inches of overage so that you will create like a flap for the envelope. This is my first time making this type of money holder envelopes and I ended up with a size of 7 by 7.5 inches. But you'll see that the flap for my envelope this time is actually kind of short. It kind of worked out because I decorated the back side of my envelope as well. But if you want something that lies a little bit more flat, um, you might want to consider just making it maybe 7 by 8 inches. For the final step, you just want to make two score lines. Um, and that will be like the size of your envelope. So for my example, I'm going to score at 3 and 5 over 16 inches. It's kind of a really um, precise measurement. And that is because I want the white border around our unicorn paper to be kind of even. But of course, you can customize it however you want. I'm just kind of providing the measurements that I did for my project today. But again, you can totally customize the size to whatever works best for you. After that, you can just use double-sided tape to adhere the edges of the envelope. And this is what it looks like after it's finished. Now the base of the project is basically complete and you can totally stop here if you want to. But I love unicorns and rainbows and I always want to add extra sparkle and shine when I'm creating with them. So I decided to turn it into a light up card today. First I want to mark out the places where I'll be placing the LED lights and also my battery. And this paper really had the perfect designs to incorporate these elements. I chose the heart in the middle to be the place of the battery. And then for the LED lights, I wanted to be at the very tip of the unicorn horn. Now at first, I wanted to be on the two major like big unicorns like in the center. But the unicorn horns are so close to the edge of the card, it wouldn't really work because you still have to have some room to lay down like the circuit tape and place on your LED sticker. So at the end, I picked the unicorns on the left and right edges of the card. After that, I cut a small piece of paper to create the battery holder, and now we're ready to lay down the circuit. Today's circuit is actually really simple, but something that's different from the tutorials that I've shared before is that we're actually gonna make two circuits today instead of one. In the past, we would connect all of the positive sides together with one piece of tape, and then we would connect the negative pieces together also with one piece of tape. 
But for today's project, you can see that the battery is actually in the middle of two lights, so it's actually easier to separate them into two circuits. Here you can see that I'm laying two pieces of tape down, and they both extend from the bottom of the battery holder. And then for the opposite side of the LED lights, we're going to connect with two pieces of tape together also. And we're going to tape it back to the top of the battery holder, so the other side of the battery holder. Once we are done, we can stick on our LED stickers. I'm using the Rainbow Face stickers today. Obviously, I have to use those because we're making a Unicorns and Rainbows card. And here you can see how it works once we press down um, on the battery holder to complete the circuit. This is also the time to check if the positions of the LED stickers are where you want them to be. In this case, I'm quite happy with how they are um, glowing at the top of the unicorn horns. If you want to dress up the envelope further, you can also ink blend or stamp additional patterns onto the back of the envelope. And that completes our project today. I hope this inspires you to upcycle any packaging or a beautiful paper that you may find. I really have fun creating this money holder and I hope you enjoyed it too. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye!